everyone! Today I'm going to talk about the Lunette Cup. Uh, the Lunette Cup was the fourth cup that I had purchased, and it was one of the first three cups that I originally wanted to try out. Um, the other two were the Diva Cup and the Maluna, and I had already purchased those. After I had gotten those two, um, I ended up getting the Eva Cup by the Anagin Company, and I thought that I had found my Goldilocks Cup, and I I pretty much did. Um, I still love the Eva Cup. I use it and grab for it almost every every chance that I need to use it. Um, I use it at least several times during my cycle, uh, depending on how long my cycle is. But it's probably one of my more or most comfortable cups. So it is one of my top three. The Lunette is also one of my top three favorites. Um, and although I thought I found my Goldilocks cup in the Eva cup, I did still want to get the Lunette because it was one of the first three that I did want to try. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and I waited a while because the price of the Lunette is kind of steep for me. It's just about $40, and I can't remember if um, I had to pay for shipping or not. Uh, but $40 in one one purchase for me anyhow is quite quite a bit of money and so I waited and I I did see that they had previous sales on their Facebook um, so I just I waited until another sale came up um, actually somebody in one of the menstrual cup groups on Facebook had posted that they went on sale and it was off of another website um, so I went ahead and picked up actually two, um, oops, two, <laughs> two different colors, two different sizes. So I got the model one and the model two, or size one, size two, and um, I'm really glad that I did. I I really like these cups a lot. Um, like on their Facebook page if you're looking for a sale. I'll leave their website in the description below but you can check for their web, uh, their Facebook page on your own feminine wear does carry the lunette cup uh, the last I la last time I looked they were out of stock but it, I I would say to check back um, and they are available for the US um, customers so look for those if um, well actually now now you're going to be directed, if you are in the U.S., you will be directed to a page that only shows the cups that are available to be shipped to the United States because of the FDA regulations. Um, she's had to change that. So sad. Um, but if you go to the Lunette website, they have a lot of information, a lot of good information. Um, it's an easy-to-use website. They tell you about the cup itself, about their company and how they started, their quality and standards. They have testimonials, um, frequently asked questions, how to use it, a guide size, folding methods, cleaning, um, cleaning instructions, just a lot of stuff. So go check them out. Um, but do check out their Facebook also for sales, like on their page. Um, also like on the Feminine Wear page on Facebook because she will update with discounts there too. Um, the company is from Finland and they are FDA approved for US, med uh, U.S. standards. And they do list that they have certain of these certificates on their websites. So if you're really, um, really wondering about those or curious or, or worried, I'm sure that you could contact them and they can produce those um, certificates if you really wanted to see the actual certificate. So when you order a lunette, you get one of these boxes and the box on the inside slides out. You also get a pamphlet. It has really good information in this pamphlet. Some of the cups that I get, their pamphlets are just a leaflet and it doesn't even give a whole bunch of good information about using it. Um, it's just really basic. But this is a really good um, pamphlet that they include. 
and you get uh, a pouch with it and they're kind of color coordinated. I know this isn't a coral but it's a pink and it did come with the coral cup and then the blue here. Um, I did order mine from a different website and my daughter ordered hers from the actual Lunette website and they're a little bit different. I know it doesn't really matter because it's the box but I figured that I would um, just bring that up that that they're a little different. I, I don't know maybe they update date their box often their packaging but they are different. So although I have the model one or the size small I'm not going to talk about it a whole bunch uh, it is under two inches in height and um, I would think that it is the better size for a low a person with a low cervix um, as opposed to the size two it's it is a tad over two inches so that might uh, be a little too long for you if I place it up against the ruby cup they're almost the same size um, in height just a little shorter so that might be easier for people with a low cervix again. Um, I do like to use the size 1 uh, or small for my discharge days or when I'm expecting my period and I just um, want to be sure that if I'm out and about I don't leak and I just insert that. I also use it for my spotting or leaking days before and after my periods. So um, I, I'm glad I got the size 1 and my daughter got the size 1 as well um, in the same color blue. But I'm just going to um, talk more or show more about the Model 2 since that's the one that I normally use on my heavy, uh, heavier days. Um, I can use it on my discharge days or spotting and leaking days. I don't think it matters for me really. Um, there's no harm in using the larger size for me. I just I just use the size one just because I have it. Um, and it does again measure a tad over two inches and I had already measured it on here and I kept it there so that you could see um, up against the Diva Cup since the Diva Cup is a well-known cup and it's sliding away from me. So it is a little bit shorter than the Diva Cup, even uh, not including that stem there. So starting with the stem, um, it is a tab style stem and it it's a solid piece and it's it's not really squishy there. It's pretty solid or pretty firm. Um, I did cut mine off. There were three grip rings on it originally and I left one there. It has good flexibility but I did cut mine um, I, I did when I received it I used it with the stem and or the full length of the stem and I could feel it while I was standing and even worse uh, or even more so while I was sitting so I went ahead and cut it off just for my comfort alone. Um, I could cut it all the way to the base of the cup and not have any problems. It seems like the seal on the inside, and I can't use my pen this time because it it doesn't show very well. It's not very see-through. But that seam is right about to this um, grip ring. And so you could make it flush with the bottom of that cup if you need to needed to really cut all of it off. So right underneath that stem there are three grip rings and they're nicely raised. It's not um, as raised as some of my other cups but they, they do give a good area to grip. It makes quite a bit of sound there. Um, I've had to actually rinse this with, and brush it with my finger. I did have some clotting that stuck in there. Um, I did try to wash it off with just the tap and it kind of got stuck in these grip rings so um, they're raised enough to hold in some of those uh, 
clottings if you have those, uh, but it wasn't a big deal to me. And this silicone is not a peach skin, but it's not as slippery as some of my other silicones are. And here's my Diva Cup. And my fingers slide really qu quickly off of that. And this just does have a little bit of grip to it, but not not a lot like um, like the Maluna's, but the Maluna is TPE. Um, I'd say the Lady Cup has that consistency where it, it grips, and I it's on my other it's on my sewing table, so I'm not going to reach over and get it. Um, but it is a nice silicone. It feels well made and thick that it it'll last a long time. So down here there is a secondary rim and so it gets more firm, a little more firm from this bump here to the top rim. And the transition on that is is pretty nice. It's pretty smooth, not really, really raised. And then you have your top rim, which is the um, more the firmest part besides the stem. Right underneath that, that uh, top rim, there are four section release holes, and there's two there, and two more in the back. And they are evenly spaced around the cup. There are no moldings on the inside of the cup, but they did mold the outside with their name, the Lunette name, and also made in Finland on this side. And they don't have measuring numbers, but they do have measuring lines on the outside right underneath their lunette name. And there they are. And this top line is 15 milliliters, which is a half an ounce. So you have, you can't see that very well, you have a good amount of room before you hit that suction release hole. But if you use uh, your cup to full capacity, it is an ounce. Um, that's stated on their site or on the feminine wear site. I'm not sure which one. I know it's listed on one of them. I do want to mention that there is a seam, sadly, that runs from one side of the cup all the way up and over the stem and back down the other side. And one of the sides of mine, this side, um, I could feel more than I can on this side. So it's, it is kind of raised there. You can see a piece of silicone there and you can see this silicone that's raised off of my cup. So if you're sensitive to those things, um, that's, that might be a problem for you. Well, the grip rings, if, if you can't get past the grip rings, then you can't get past these seams because they're they're pretty raised on mine. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad on some of the other cups. There is also a seam that runs all the way around the the rim, that top rim, and it's right on the top. So that is the area that's going to be up against you. And then um, there's another piece of silicone, or maybe that's the same one I showed earlier. Uh, and I can also feel this rim with my fingertips. And again, if you're sensitive, this might not be a good cup for you. Overall, it is a good cup. Uh, it just feels really well made, that it's going to last a long time. So my personal experience with this cup, um, first of all, I know this is odd, but uh, I didn't care for the silicone. And I opened the, the um, Model 2 first. I didn't care for the silicone. Um, after doing a lot of research and reading about uh, the purity or how to tell purities of silicones, um, I found that I found some information out, and so when I first looked at the silicone, I was like, I don't, I don't really care for this. 
It feels good. It feels well made, but I just didn't like the look of it, I guess. But I didn't mind the look of the Model 1. And I know that they use the same silicones for both of their models, but for some reason, I think it's just a, you know, in my my head, I had it that I liked the, the small, um, clear, semi-clear, um, blue silicone as opposed to the um, coral color um, of the Model 2. And it, I'm sure it's just a, a head thing. It's all in my head. <laughs> but after I had used the cup, I didn't even think about that anymore until just now. Um, but it opened so, so nice. It, I uh, used my punch down fold and it opened right away. I inserted it. In fact, it opened a little too soon. I had folded it and I inserted it and I went to go reposition my fingertips to the base of the cup to push it in some more and it had opened. And um, it, it was fine. I didn't hurt myself or anything, but I was very surprised. And I honestly thought that I heard the pop in my head and it kind of surprised me and I I jumped and you can hear that it makes quite a bit of sound um, but maybe that's in my head too but I did feel it pop open so I knew that it popped open completely and all I had to do was um, position it uh, further up it landed right around my cervix I didn't have to reposition it to, to get it around my cervix it was right there exactly where it needed to be um, and I, I usually don't have any problems with that when a cup opens up inside of me it's usually um, in the correct position and my cervix is sitting inside there's only been one cup that I, I, I've had problems with that I actually had to um, press it down, pull it back a little bit, and then reposition it. Uh, but this one just opens so nicely. I usually don't have to check that it opens, because I can feel it and I can hear it in my head. Um, but I, I always uh, do it, st still insert a finger and run it around it, and um, just to make sure that my cervix is placed in there. And I don't know why I still do that. It's just a habit now but um, just to make sure that my cervix is inside of it but this is a really good cup I loved that it opened so so easy uh, I do want to say that it is a firm cup so if you have um, problems with a sensitive bladder this probably wouldn't be a good cup for you because it will apply um, that pressure there and give you discomfort uh, I didn't do a comparison um, of the lunette compared to the other cups that I have yet, but um, I do have several cups, uh, cup comparisons up if you're looking to see um, how how firm the lunette is compared to some of those other cups. So you can check that out. I will try to get a lunette comparison out as soon as I can, but I ran out of batteries um, for my for my regular camera um, and I still need to take some pictures of the pad pad liners or the reusable uh, panty liners that I'm working on right now so I want to save that for now I'll have to pick up batteries and do that comparison I'm sorry I'm rambling now uh, but it is a very firm cup and this is gonna kind of be awkward because I'm I'm facing the camera as opposed to it being um, above me but here, I'll just do a quick squishy test there, and you can see how much more firm that is to the Diva Cup. So it is a quite firm cup, but I really, really like this, this cup. It, it's well made, pops open so, so easy. I like it a lot, and... Um, if you can use firm cups, check them out if you haven't already. Um, Feminine Wear, the Lunette site, they do have other vendors that carry the Lunette uh, cups, so you can check to see if anybody has sales on it if you're interested.
but it is a really, really good cup, and I like it. Um, and I hope I answered some questions you had about the lunette. If I missed something or if you have an additional question, go ahead and leave me a comment below, or you can find me on Facebook. I'm Red Herring there, and all my links are in the description as well. Thanks for watching.